everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 18th, 2021. So one of the messages that was coming up quite quickly was resilience. I think this is a time where we are realizing just how much we've come through, uh, how much we have transformed. Now, really take a look at that for this week. Where have you really uh, made some major changes? Let's go deeper than that. Think of like plutonian kind of transformation which you're when you're in it it's so big that really you don't understand how far you've come right or how significant perhaps a relationship was for example or a work situation how transformative that was until you come out the other side so this might be something that you think of from like a decade ago right where it's like oh man you know that i was had that stuck in my head is just this major event but that's when I started my spiritual growth or that's where I started learning to set boundaries or that's where I decided what I wanted out of love or this is where I decided where I wanted to take my life, okay? Now, everybody is different. Everybody's dealing with a different sort of human blueprint, if you will. But I think overall for each of us, it's reevaluating, okay? And giving ourselves a little credit, giving ourselves a little credit because a lot of times we'll sit there and just say, oh, I haven't done enough with my life. I haven't provided enough or, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But, you know, your duty here is to be human, <laughs> right? So give yourself space to be human. All right, let's get some cards going. If you would like a personal reading with me, I'm also doing the Akashic Records reading readings. I'm telling you guys, they're very interesting. They're very interesting. So far, with most people, it does take us to a timeline that we would perceive as the past. All the timelines are vibrating at the same time, but often it takes me to, you know, some moment on someone's, in someone's records that will overlay with what's going on now to help you through that lesson. So, ah, <laughs> and yes, we do get into some soul origin stuff as well, but it just depends on the person. Uh, a lot of times it's become a little bit cheapened and uh, shallow and people are more getting a thrill out of thinking that they're a star seed rather than really embracing what that means if you are in fact a star seed, okay? So just bear that in mind. What I'm getting at is if you come for a reading, angelsouls444.com, uh, if you come for a personal reading and you're wanting to know what star seed origin you have because it's thrilling to you, it's not going to work. You'll probably get a message that you're not one, <laughs> okay? All right, so there's that. And of course, I have all of the Archangel uh, meditation challenges over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. And there's lots of other content over there. Beautiful, beautiful time to be opening up to that. All right, let's see here. So right out, we have Knight of Ariel, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. This immediately feels like someone coming in to help. Or as you look back, you realize how significant somebody was to you. And again, maybe the surface level situation wasn't so great, but man, on a soul level, they really did a lot for you, <laughs> all right? So just keep that in mind. It says, there's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan, being watched over by someone kind. So what this card is showing, this is so interesting. So I don't know if you can see it there, but she is kneeling, okay? She is kneeling and she's just kind of busy doing her thing. And here's somebody who's up on the horse who's watching her and going, wow, that's really amazing or watching over and being protective. Okay, I, I do feel that. So this could be somebody who has been maybe supporting you from afar. Maybe you're not even aware that this person even knows of you. <laughs> I don't know. It could be that kind of thing. Like when I'm on the internet, I have no idea who's watching. And it's been amazing. I actually have done a personal reading for royalty. Um, you know, it, it's wild. You just never know who's into this stuff and who's going to be paying attention. So, <laughs> so bear that in mind. This is somebody who maybe they were there at one point or they just care about you and they want to help you. Yeah. But you're... It, <sighs> I'm going to go back to this. It has this feeling like you're not aware of it, though. You're just kind of doing your thing. Like, okay, I'll figure this out. And then somebody comes along and says, hey, I've been watching the entire time. Not in like a creepy way. But, um, you know, I've kept track of, you know, how you're doing, what's your progress, you know, that sort of thing. And here I am. I can help you. 
And then we have the High Priestess, Archangel Haniel. Archangel Haniel, I associate with moon phases and with divine feminine power and having a balance of that. And this says, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information via peace. So there's clarity coming through insight, through your intuition. And because I associate Haniel with the moon, it does have this feeling of the hidden, okay? Hidden emotions. Again, with this card, it's almost, again, like somebody comes out, you feel like someone's there, you feel like you have like a protector. Now this could be a spirit guide, absolutely. This of course could be your angelic team, your light being team, however you see that. But there's some intuition that could come to you this week where you realize someone, someone's been on my side all along. And perhaps there was interference. Yeah, because we have the number two on here too. So really needing to be balanced in your emotions and really be balanced about the stories that we tell ourselves. Okay. Epiphany. <laughs> Guys, Epiphany, Archangel Razio. I have an Archangel Razio meditation challenge over at Gumroad. Gumroad.com slash angel souls. Get over there and do it. He's awesome. I love working with this Archangel. Uh, joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. You guys, they're by going within and doing your spiritual practice and meditating, Oh my gosh, I thought that was thunder. <laughs> the sun was shining. There's a jet going over. Okay, just threw me for a second. Um, but this is meditating, not to uh, force an answer to come up, but it's sort of like a surprise. It's an unusual message that comes through that you didn't see coming. Or suddenly situations, again, it feels like these stories that get locked in our minds in a certain way uh, and I'm healing this right now too. And, and then going back and you start remembering other things, you start remembering the bigger picture of it and realizing it wasn't as bad as I thought. Or, you know, having a moment of, oh, that's why, oh, I hadn't even thought of that. It was right there in front of me. I didn't even realize, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, the world. Okay, look at this. Uh, it's Archangel Michael. Also have a meditation challenge for him. A very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. You guys, okay, listen, we, <laughs> I don't remember when Mercury goes direct. I think it is on the 18th. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong, but um, this feels like Mercury retrograde it isn't going to give up until one more thing happens. And that is bringing an end to a messy situation. So if you have had, you know, trouble with family members, uh, friends, or and this might be a really old situation. I have one of those situations. I'm curious to see if that gets healed this week. <laughs> I've done the most I can on, on my end, but you know, um, if it's going to come, because that is coming full circle. So something from the past coming back around to be discussed, to be looked at, um, you know, giving a fuller picture. And it really does open everything up. It has this feeling of finally working on it and now you're free. But it comes to this deep, deep understanding. That's, huh. <laughs> That's a little interesting. Okay, let's get an Archangel Michael card. Okay. Lots of cards are flying out, okay. Being highly protected, you know, there's all this Michael energy and I brought over the Archangel Michael deck. Um, it's someone in the physical who's been, and it, like I said, it could be a spirit guide too, but the spirit guides or angels might be working through somebody to help you spark some realization. Okay, you created this situation and you have the power to change it. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. This is talking to Archangel Michael. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. It's like it's talking about a situation that's finally coming back around. And this whole idea of you created the situation, you can change it, is exactly what I was saying about how we'll get these stories locked in our minds that it is this way or that way. You see what I'm saying? And, and you get more information. You get more information. I kind of want more cards. Okay, let's, which ones, which ones, which ones? The Michael deck, okay. So let's get another card out of here. 
a silent protector. There has been, uh, that message feels like it's someone in your physical realm. This one is explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. This is letting something go. This is letting something go because you finally have the full picture, the full story. You have some intuitive hit about it. Now, not everybody who's watching this is gonna have somebody from the past come back. Let's say, for some reason, an example of like a father, you know, figure or an actual father that you've been estranged from. Or maybe this father left you when you were young and you've held on to this pain. There, you might not have that person come back into your life, but you're gonna have this epiphany, this intuition hit that's probably what it was. Or maybe somebody gives you a piece of information and you realize, oh my gosh, I've been hanging on to that for so long and not realizing that this is what this person was dealing with. Now, we're not sitting here saying, you know, make excuses for bad behavior. But, you know, some people are coming from a bad intentioned place when others are coming from a pained place. Now, we could argue that people with bad intentions are also coming from a pained place, but sometimes people just don't know what else to do. Sometimes they just don't have the tools to handle things the way we would like them to. All right, so explore your options. This feels like exploring your options about, for some of you, it's about your spiritual growth and what direction you wanna go in with that. Any kind of spiritual practice that you're doing, please do not treat it like it's something to spice up your life. I don't know how else to put it. Like, you know, people coming in and going, am I, am I an incarnated angel? Am I? It's hitting on something else. That's an egotistical thing. Am I better than everybody? Am I more special? No, it's not that, Michelle. I just want to understand myself better. Well, you understand yourself better by tuning in to your own voice and not letting other people categorize your one piece of your soul, which is, you know, fragmented, right? I mean, you're split up into a lot of expressions right now. Does that make sense? I hope I'm saying that in a way that's landing. So there's a lot here about bouncing back from something. We were saying resiliency. putting it to rest, putting something to rest. This may be getting to say what you have to say. Now, if you do have this opportunity, let's say this week, to have that discussion or to heal something, to uh, some of you gave up on a career or a dream or something, and you might find now that you can come back to that, this is not the time to sit there and start having attitude with the other person, start screaming at them and trying to just win the argument. That's not the idea. Now, if you sit in a situation and you feel anger coming up, you know, uh, just try to express like, okay, I'm feeling some anger right now. Just have some awareness around your response, right? So I'm not telling you to be in denial here about how you actually feel, but you don't wanna make things worse. Give me a moment here because I want to say, because I'm hearing transformation, but I want to get more about what that means. This is opening up. We were saying this a few days ago, where it was like an ending of a soul chapter for a lot of people. And this is the end of some sort of struggle, something that has kept you just spinning your wheels, spinning your wheels, spinning. Maybe you have been ruminating about it. If you, and it feels like an injustice. It might, here's what's so funny about this. It feels like an injustice, but there's a lot of love around this. And so it has this feeling of uh, a huge misunderstanding, perhaps. Uh, but again, this whole idea that somebody was not, someone that you thought was an enemy is not actually an enemy, right? They have cared for you. They, um, Again, I keep feeling this like parental energy for some of you out there. I pick up on whoever's watching, okay? <laughs> so there's this parental energy where it's like, uh, maybe it's a mother that you're not speaking to because you just can't see eye to eye. You just don't agree on things and what have you. And you find out, well, this parent has loved you this entire time. 
Okay, so it is that. It has this nice, even feeling about it. This may also be a time where you need to make amends. Perhaps more information comes to you. Be discerning because don't forget, we live in a world where there are very manipulative type of people who are types of people who are always trying to make you feel bad, they're trying to gaslight you, scapegoat you, what have you. So if you are really tuned into your instincts and you've educated yourself on this nut, so you can diagnose everybody, but so that you can be aware, then your all your little alarms will start going off. <laughs> okay, and you'll know like they're just trying to manipulate the situation. But I think what we're talking about here is no, I was trying to tell you I didn't feel that way. Or no, I, I thought you meant this and that's why I, you know, did this. And it's all of that. And then you come together and you realize we can let this pain go. Whatever the situation was, it's done now. And it has, yeah, you have the power to change this. It has this uh, rebirth kind of feel about it. So it could be a fresh start. Now, again, if you're sitting here listening to this and it's like an ex who you never stopped loving and you've always hoped that that ex was going to come back to you and all this stuff. For some of you, I mean, sure. I mean, there are a lot of people watching this. So I guess that could be it. But be careful. Don't don't be cycling around old lessons. This would more be we've grown up. Here's where I was. Here, This is where you were. Okay. Um, and then you can take it from there. But how you want to refresh this. So for some of you, it is a parting of ways. It's like, okay, we're done with that. We're never going to speak again. We've laid this to rest. I've done that with friends in the past where we kind of drifted apart. And a lot of times I, I pulled back from them because I started feeling like there was some narcissism there and taking advantage and, you know, everything was about them and all of that. So I started pulling back and inevitably I would allow them to hoover me back in and I would come back in and I would have that clarity moment of no the, I wasn't wrong in walking away here we are again say what we got to say and then we would part ways now that's just for some of you others you may decide to lay something to rest and need some time to heal but maybe you're working on a friendship uh and yet others are going to probably make a mistake. I'm going to lay it down for you. <laughs> I'm going to make the mistake of, oh, yay, we fixed up the past. Let's jump into a romantic partnership uh, instead of letting the dust settle a little bit. So just be careful. Tread lightly here, all right? And be listening to your intuition. Your intuition is not going to fail you. It is here to help you through this situation, all right? So comment down below if you care to share what's going on with you. I'm curious to see what comes up as well. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.